Hello, my name is Sebastian Rodriguez. I am product manager at Polygon ID, and today I would like to uh, discuss why we should uh, have better models to manage our digital identities. Let's think about what our digital identities are. So in the real world, we have one single identity. And that identity is what others say about us, right? Uh, some sources of trust. So it could be your family, your friends, uh, your bank, uh, university, government, right? Uh, through your life, you get different uh, attestations and credentials that to you, uh, things that others say to you that create your identity. And this is one single identity. And that identity is shown to everyone, to your family, friends, to other institutions, right? The trust that you get from your bank, from your university or your government can be used in the real world, like your reputation. Uh, you don't think about yourself like multiple persons, one for the bank, one for university, one for your family, one for your friends. You are one single identity. Now let's compare that to the online digital identity. Right? In the online world, you don't have one identity. You have accounts. That's something that I like to, t to tell people every time we discuss about sovereign identity. In internet, you don't have an identity. You have user accounts. And you have a different user account for each service or for each service provider. So you are one individual for Facebook, a different person for your e-commerce site. You are somebody else for Google, something different in your work applications. And then you can have a completely different profile in Web3. right? And all these identities are fragments of who you are. And most important, they don't talk to each other. Think in your real world. Your bank may issue some statement about your credit that you can use in your work. Your government is issuing you an ID that you can present to the university, and university is issuing credentials about your skills that you can present uh, to your work, for your personal reputation, etc. But that doesn't happen on this side. Your identity is fragmented. These services are not talking to each other, right? So in essence, you are different people for them. And every time you start a new relationship with a new e-commerce site or a new social network, you need to create just another version of yourself. And this has many uh, drawbacks, right? First is your own experience. You need to fill hundreds of forms. You need to onboard in multiple services. The second thing is you cannot use your reputation. You cannot use the trust uh, that you have built in any of these places or the information that uh, you have about you in other services. So the question is clear. How do we uh, turn this fragmentation, right? How we have a digital version of a single identity? How we put everything together? We don't have to create new versions of ourselves. So the information is portable across all services. The question is, who would you trust to have everything about you? Who would you trust? Which service provider would you trust to know absolutely everything about you? you to know who you are making business with, what are your preferences, etc. Every time you use one of these buttons of logging with Google, logging with Facebook, logging with whatever, you are trusting that service provider to be the center of your identity and to control your data. That is one of the things that we need to take into consideration when we are trying to solve this issue of the single universal digital identity, which is who should be trusted. And the answer is no one. You should be in control of your own data. You should have everything that is said about to you, and you should be free to decide how much of that you want to share with the next service provider. And that, that idea, that concept of you being in the center of your digital identity is called self-sovereign identity, or SSI. In future videos, we will explore what is the benefits of SSI, can we implement it, and we will discover how Polygon ID is providing a set of tools for everyone involved in the SSI ecosystem. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and looking forward to meeting you in the next one.